Okay. Oh, sunglasses on actually. Oh, it's water. Oh, sorry. I, d I didn't drink loads last night. But I was just too old and screwed to tolerate it. So we are in Bath. Um, this probably follows other videos I shot yesterday. Get in. We are here without our daughter. And it's terrible, isn't it? I miss her terribly, do you? You keep saying this. <laughs> cool. um, um, so today we are, uh, we've had a huge breakfast and mooched around, so I'm half dead. We're gonna see the Mary Shelley's House of Frankenstein Museum escape room experience thingy. We're gonna do that. So that's just around the corner here. You looking forward to this? Nay's claustrophobic, so the whole idea of escape room freaks are out. And the Frankenstein thing looks good, so we're gonna we'll just wait for it to open. And just have a little pan around of bath today. Cut to me, smack it down. Yeah. Absolutely love the architecture in this town, it's bloody lovely. Mm. And everything looks like it. it's all limestone apparently. Mm. Anyway, uh, geography lesson for the day. Let's go do some Frankensteining. Mary Shelley's House of Frankenstein. We've got some people in costume. Ooh. These are the prices. Yeah. Um, basically, you've got one upstairs called Victor's Lair, which is um, the sort of Frankenstein house. Um, and then you've got the Mary Shelley's House of Frankenstein. Um, so this is where you can get the Frankensteins laboratory. Oh, nice. And then we've got one downstairs in the scary basement, oh, um, I love which them. is more of an intense, like, claustrophobic one. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is extremely claustrophobic. Okay, she probably wouldn't want to do that one then. Now, <laughs> yeah. now, Naomi, you've got to ask a question, haven't you? So go on. <laughs> So, can you be let out if you're not happy in there? And you yeah. Don't, yeah. She's worried you, that you're going to nail her in and kidnap her. <laughs> There's no nailing going on. I mean, there is a dead body in there. Oh, awesome. Uh, it's a Frankenstein. Five, right. Let's go down to the basement, shall we? Yeah, let's start. Huh? Down the basement, this way. Not bad. No. We'll start in the basement and work our way up. No. Oh my giddy eye, what is this? Boo! It's Wes from the future here, finally getting around to editing this so almost a year later. It's been a strange time, not had a lot of time. Uh, anyway, we need some more atmosphere. Uh, red, red's probably too much. Green, that's more Frankie colours. I need to explain what you're about to see here because things are about to get very dark. We're heading down into the basement. Uh, we didn't know what to expect. It turns out it's very atmospheric down there. And uh, Nay hates anything like this. She hates being scared. She hates gloomy basements. She certainly hates claustrophobic sort of areas. Um, the thing she hates more than anything are scare actors. And little do we know, uh, we were being pursued in the basement by one of the staff who, um, <laughs> who really struck a nerve with Nay's uh, fear receptors. Um, I'm gonna put the time on the screen here. That's when she notices something's up, but it's worth watching the whole thing for the tension building just to see how she's freaking out. And um, yeah, all hell kicks off from there really. You're able to see bits here and there, but it's mainly dark, so persevere with this because I think this is one of my favorite Naomi moments ever. So forgive her profanity, but I'm leaving it all intact and enjoy. She never disappoints my wife. I ain't going down there. <laughs> I ain't going down there. Hang on. Oh, yeah. oh, love it. Look at this. Is anyone going to jump out on that one? This way to tick it off. All right. We got um. We got the old glow in the dark bit here. Oh nay. Oh, this is intense. Oh, Wes. Nay, this is awesome. Hang on, I can't actually see where the hell we're going. Hang on. Should it be this dark? Oh, boy. Yeah? I'm fucking scared. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, come back. Nay, <laughs> come back in. I'm scared. Look, you're 45. I'm scared. I'm getting my torch out. You're not getting your torch. You're not getting your torch out. Just in case. Oh. Oh, shit. Just in case I've got. Please. 
I'm, I'm really scared. Hey, what's in here? Hang on. Oh, what's in there? Oh, this is good. Marnie would have loved this. Right, please don't put your torch on. Alright, just in case. Go on, let's go. Okay, so do we turn left here or? I don't know. Yeah, we're going here. We're going here. I'm getting nothing on camera except screaming. Hang on. Is that a. What is that? I can't tell where the fuck we are. Oh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> Lord, <mate. laughs> <laughs> 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 right, put your torch on, but keep it into your body, okay? So if you need it, so if you need it. <laughs> You're actually trembling. Right, now put it into your body. There we go. Uh, Come on. It was just a dead pig. Oh, hang on. Oh dear, you're funny. Oh, oh God, I can't. <laughs> right, ready? Come on. I'll put you towards it. Come on, here. So, <laughs> oh. Let's up there. This is going to light up in a minute, whatever that is. Here, aren't they? Where's the sun here? Oh. Over here, light this up when it, when it flashes. Oh god! Right, let's go this way. <laughs> Through it. Through it, nay. Nay. Nay, this way. Nay. Nay, it's not real, love. Come on. Oh my god. What? There's someone at the top of the stairs. Turn the torch off! Turn the torch off, nay. Nay, turn the torch off. What the fuck? Turn the torch off, nay. You're fine. She's coming to get you now. I definitely no! turn. I definitely turn that off. Fucking hell! <laughs> turn it off. I'm off. Let's up. <laughs> Shit! Come on, man. Let's go in. No. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Hey, we're going in. I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't go about that way. She'll have you, mate. No! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, she's coming, mate! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, my God. <sighs> you must love this fucking job. <laughs> So apart from the dead pig and something in there, is there anything else to in there? We're all good, okay? You love this job, don't you? Oh, that's brilliant. I'm getting all this for YouTube as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh dear. That's the fire exit. That's the fire exit, sorry. No, no. Outside where you came in. This way? Yeah. Okay, mate. Oh dear. Oh my god, that's funny. Did she run out? <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> you, oh, this place is great, honestly. Oh, good. Um, you could be a scoop for Yeah. Would it be okay if we got you in an hour? Yeah. And then you did the museum afterwards? Yeah. Would that be alright? Yeah, of course. Do you want to do it now? Would that be okay? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, mate. She's here now, she's fine. That's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We're doing the escape room now. Come on. Come on. Look. I don't think I can do this. She's friendly here, come on. Alright, I don't think I can do this. Hey, hey, come on. That was one of the funniest <laughs> things I've ever, I've ever seen. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's literally the girl that let us in, though. Is it? Yeah, come on, look, she's here. That was scary. Here she is, here she is. Here she is. Here they are, mate. Here they are, mate. 
Now you've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> it doesn't take much to scare you, does it? <laughs> now we're going to do the skate room now. Okay. Escape room. <laughs> Come on now, skate room time. No recording in here, so camera's going off. So as you've seen by that picture, we died. We, that was the best escape room ever. Fantastic. Anyway, we're doing the museum. No, really, that was good. And they, um, you, had a bit, you got a bit wobbly at times, didn't you? Know? Nothing serious. So this is, uh, I'm gonna do the actual museum -y bit now. That was a really intense hour. Honestly, that's the best escape room I've ever seen. 11 out of 10 for that. So we've got um, 1797. A skeleton. Bzzz. Mary Shelley. There she is. The legend herself. Mary Wolfen, Wol Wollstonecraft. That's her mum. Apparently she never knew her because she died. And uh, it's just like the family tree, I take it. Who's William Godwin? That's her dad. I'm not sure what's going on with his head. <laughs> Political theorist and philosopher. Okay, and then we've got Mary's stepsister. Nice. Oh, okay, through the netted curtain. Oh, wow! Oh, this place is awesome! So we've got um, more of the Shelleys. Oh my god. Never more. Big head. Quite a tragic backstory to this girl. Yeah. So her kid died, she got depressed and started knocking off Lord Byron. Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Guy and myself. Bella Lagosi. Okay. Spooky death mask. Spooky wife coming up the stairs. Oh my. What does the fox say? Not, not much at this point. The vampire. She wrote, she wrote a film, uh, a book about a horrible, nasty vampire thing. It was based on Lord Byron. Some people just can't get over it, can they, you know? Writing a whole hate piece. <laughs> Birth of Monster, that's a lovely picture. Ooh. Hey? Oh. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Actually, I'm not sure what that is. It's got horny bits. Just deliciously um, atmospheric. There we go. Where does she live then? Does it say what street? Mary lived at Five Abbey Churchyard at the front of Bath Abbey. She lived right in front of the uh, Bath Abbey. Hmm. She lived there five months, but she wrote, apparently wrote most of Frankenstein here. What is that? That's a mermaid, mate. Look at that mermaid. Ooh. God, internet will be up in arms about that. The way they treated the new aerial. Frankenstein the critics. Reviews were not favorable. Many discrepancies with the plot. Especially relating to the education of the monster. But largely praised the work, did it, did it, did it. There's always a critic. Into the morning room. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, the atmosphere of this place. Oh. Give me ideas about decoration for the bedroom. Oh my, look at it. This is awesome. What is this up here? It's just the 
deliciously macabre. And I 100% didn't notice that until just then. <laughs> if Nail noticed it, she'll love that. Yeah, never sleep again. The what? M the morning room. You see that's moving over there? Yeah. It's fucking great, isn't it? Oh. It's gorgeous. I love how much effort they put into this. This voiceover artist is creepy. Screams and they went out. Yeah, I ran past them. You actually ran past them. Shelley, the writer of some infidel poetry, has been drowned. Love this place. All right, should we go to the next floor? <laughs> you actually ran. Past people screaming. Did you actually? <laughs> okay. Frankenstein. Oh. Royal Opera. Victor Frankenstein. They haven't mentioned the um, De Niro film yet. Probably for good reason. Actually, I'm not sure I ever saw it all the way through. Didn't like Kenneth Branagh, see? Um. Oh, look at that. Horror. His cadaver's skin scarcely covers the work of muscles and arches beneath. His hair, lustrous, black and glowing. The play that was turned into, 1823 stage version. <laughs> the most significant change was the creature being rendered mute. Uh, what have I the beauty of my tree has uh, a it, it was made a brutish monster with an infant's mind. It did not develop sensitive human emotions. That's kind of defeating the whole purpose. What's behind here? Just a window. What have we got? Is it revolting? Is this something I'm not going to like? Oh, mercy. Oh, it doesn't look like Carlo. That is awesome. Look at it. Whoa. Is he breathing? He's breathing. His eyes are moving. That is setting off my uncanny valley. Worse than Peter Cushing did in Rogue One. Oh. Oh my God. That is just. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. This is where it gets funny, okay? Universal created the block-headed one with the bolt on yeah. his neck. That's copywritten by Universal. Yeah. Only Universal can use the Karloff image. So every time they've adapted Frankenstein since, it looks nothing like that. Getting my bit in there. That is beautiful. Look at him. Look at the teeth. And did you say what it, Frankenstein's meant to look like? Monster. Did you say Frankenstein's monster? Oh, yes! You, I don't think you did. I'm gonna play that back. I'll play that back now. Nah. We'll see. Was I right? I don't know. Look at all the detail that's gone into this place. It's a thing of beauty. I'm gonna. What does the badger say? Man, this place is amazing. Go and stand next to him so we can get the scale of how big he is. I mean, he's made out of human body parts, so where do they find giant body parts? The creature. Can you get a picture of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, eight foot tall. He was actually eight foot tall in the thing. His limbs were in proportion. I had selected his features as beautiful, beautiful great god. His yellow skin scarcely covered the work of muscles and arteries beneath. His hair was a lustrous black and flowing. 
his teeth of pearly white whiteness. But these luxuriances only formed a more horrid contrast with his watery eyes that seemed almost of the same colour of the dun-white sockets in which they were set, his shriveled complexion and straight black lips. Available for audio readings? Reasonable rates. Hello, look, his eyebrows are going down. The actual things like flaps of skin. That is a lot of money. He's beautiful. He's a thing of beauty, that guy. Oh, we're oh, at the top. Oh, this is not the skin. Yes. Ah, right, it's another one. Right. Do 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 do. Right. We've done a royal ballet. Here we go. Here comes. Here comes the whole Karloff thing. Oh. It's alive. This is what everyone thinks of when you think of Frankenstein's monster. Um, is that real? That's not real, is it? Is that a real? Is that a real sight? Whoa. I think I got a genuine Karloff autograph now. Oh, really? Yeah, seriously. Wow. Whoa. Lots of B movies going on there. We're at the comic book section, now we're talking. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Would you like a flower? Oh, classic scene. <laughs> <laughs> you not quite the classic scene. What's that? Oh, we need a picture in there, absolutely. Frankenhooker! Now there's a film I've not heard in a long time. Okay. <laughs> Now you've got to get out, you're going to snap. Nice. <laughs> you're going to snap in a minute. <laughs> Some roaring. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Not quite as terrifying as the guy we saw downstairs doing a bit of shopping. Hmm. Guy's nuts in his neck. I don't have to touch it. Hmm? Well, pinball. Ah, oh, oh, young Frankenstein. I wonder when we get oh, the mention. Like, oh. Memorabilia. Yeah. Can I get a picture with him? You can get a picture with him. Hang on. We'll just, um... Oh, I like the, I like the zombie thing. Come on. Give us a sec. Oh, there's, there's a Frankenstein duck! There's a Frankenstein duck. I don't get a picture of Jamie. God's sake, you're such an attention seeker. Hang on, what's this? Frankenstein pinball. That's based on the awful, um... Kenneth Branagh movie. I call it awful, I never saw it. That's the Christopher Lee mask when he done it. All right, sorry, picture, sorry. Cool. Go on. Moment's gone now. <laughs> so apparently Ian has the high score here. Ow. Maybe I don't hate Kenneth Branagh much when he watched it, she watched it. Funko What? Is that a Funko? Mm -hmm. Right in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. You do know I'm buying that cuddly Frankenstein monster from the um, gift shop, right? It's not working. What are you? It's just touch. Oh, I've... oh. Take it that closer. I don't know. Zippy zap. Love it. What a place this is. Honestly, what a place. Thank you. Just bought half the gift shop. Mm. Ooh, lots of little buzz things. Hello. <laughs> this is this is Tori. Hello. Excellent, excellent helper. What's what's your job title? Uh, I'm the supervisor. So, excellent yeah. supervisor. 
Excellent. Come and work at Portland Castle anytime. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant here, isn't it? Let's disappear. We leave House of Frankenstein. Oh my God, that was so good. I don't know where to start on that. A shame, Douglas. <laughs> I don't know how much of that got on video. That's some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Anyway, let's go find the coffee shop so I can do a proper review. Got myself some badges from the shop. Yeah. That was brilliant. Mary Shelley Museum, whatever you want to call it. Frankenstein House. I like him, he's cool. Oh, Mary Shelley bag as well. Mary Shelley bag. Mary Shelley too well. Pen. I thought I grabbed two pens, didn't I? I don't know. And um, graphic novels. When I get back into graphic novels. Got back into them this year. I haven't read since work, but very nice. Naomi. You got anything to say for yourself? Do you want to apologise to the people of the House of Frankenstein? Sorry. That was honestly one of the best things I've ever witnessed in my life. I don't know what to say. Mm. But, um, that place was absolutely brilliant. I'll say if you do go, do the escape rooms as well, because they're sort of part of it. Um, the escape room was fantastic. It was a 10 out of 10 one. It was so well done. Um, I can't explain how so it was proper pro. We, we had some hints here and there. We still didn't escape, we still died. But we were at the last See, bit. was that every five minutes we knocked on? I don't think we done too bad. It was mainly due to the fact I couldn't see very well. Mm -hmm. um, but it was... And I'm sure. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. The whole experience was amazing. Worth every penny. And the staff were great. What a job to have as well. Can you, can you imagine working there now? Mm. <laughs> no. Honestly, that was brilliant. One of the best things I've ever seen. It was just brilliant. And I didn't realise Mary, Mary Shelley had such an interesting, tragic life. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Um, highly recommended. Best thing we've done so far. Not that you can really compare it to the Roman Baths, because it's completely different. I'll have the rest of your drink. But Naomi's calming her nerves now with a orange juice and lemonade. Um, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit the bath things like oh not. Okay. Nothing much else to say about the House of Frankenstein, but I, if anyone from there who works there is watching this, you have my full permission. Uh, with GDPR regulations and all that, you have my full position, permission. I'm willing to sign something. Go through that CCTV, take what you need, and feel free to do with it as you please. Send it to Jeremy Beadle, or upload it, or whatever. I'm in full support of this. Ah. Brilliant place, unexpected gem, perfection.